Hello friends, this is part 39 of Angular 14 series and in this session we will discuss about that focus next element using keyword arrow keys. So one of your you know, friend actually faced this situation and yes uh, I helped uh, him So and uh, also I thought uh, you know uh, let me share this uh, you know knowledge uh, with you guys maybe it uh, could be you know helpful for you uh, in future okay so let's go to the browser so here is that you know output so just you know focus on any of the product and click so here basically you know to showing purpose i'm just you know consoling the clicked uh, or you can say focused uh, product information and let me clear and let's uh, try again and uh, just you know i clicked one of the product and then if i you know use that uh, forward arrow or backward arrow so you know it is actually uh, focusing next and uh, previous uh, element based on your uh, key selection arrow key selection okay so here i'm just you know let me you know watch this thing and uh, if i hit enter it is basically you know uh logging that object now based on your requirement you can also you know play the movie or play the songs uh, you know using this arrow key okay and by pressing hit enter so how uh, i mean how did i you know achieve so let me share the code okay basically uh, here uh, i have uh, first of all i have you know, created a service that is called keyboard service this is kind of generic part and uh, here in this you know service i just you know used as keyboard you know subject uh, variable and here basically uh, two method uh, send message and init so you know init method uh, basically here i am checking so all the events may you know right so all the events uh, will happen uh, under the you know document and so that is why just you know from event i just uh, I used this uh, method uh, from rxjs and this method actually help you to return you know it it is basically you know converts uh, document object uh, to the observable so here we are passing that document global variable and here passing the event uh, when actually this uh, observable will you know fire okay so here and after that uh, we are basically filtering uh, so there are so many you know keys there so but i don't want all the keys uh, you know uh, events to be captured so here only the uh, you know arrow event uh, will be captured so that is why you know here uh, i have written some logic uh, if it is is arrow and then we are checking some other conditions and also we are checking that key code as 13 which means the enter uh, key event okay so basically it will work uh, with uh, arrow uh, i mean right up down and left arrow along with the enter event okay and then we are mapping through basically based on that you know event we are uh, creating uh, i mean i'm creating a object and here uh, basically each object based on your uh, I mean, keyboard uh, event so whether it is up left down right or enter so based on that i am actually broadcasting okay so send message uh, method uh, basically uh, it is broadcasting on this message okay so whoever will you know receive this or subscribe this uh, you know subject that component will get the in information okay and one more directive uh, you know i have created that is called maybe el dot okay arrow uh, element directive so basically this directive help us to you know uh get the you know, uh, yes uh, we can get the reference of the element where we are placing uh, this you know selector okay so this uh, this is nothing uh, and yes by default here i am setting that you know tab index as zero so all tabs uh, here uh, once i you know refresh the page and uh, if i uh, if i show you the div element here so each div uh, is having the tab index has set uh, with zero okay so here so all are zero set now based on uh, that you know arrow or uh, uh, i mean arrow selection we are changing that index okay so where that uh, you know logic has written uh, basically here okay the keyboard service not record here and let me remove that 
and let me remove also unnecessary imports try to make the code as as much as clean and then i'm going to that maybe one of the component i've used here okay <clears throat> first of all here uh, okay let me go inside that html uh, basically here uh, you know looping through the products array uh, and uh, here we are you know placing that arrow element okay this is the selector of the directive so based on the directive here we are you know considering that you know query list of arrow directive arrow element directive so let's say here four or five you know a div has generated uh, with this arrow el uh, directive so wherever it will found this directive actually uh, it will give you the query list okay query list mean list of elements and then here one flag has written like you know columns uh, as two by default value would be two and whenever you are you know clicking that up arrow down arrow so basically this method is firing okay move method so how it is uh, firing uh, if i go to that uh, yes constructor level first of all keyboard service dot in init first of all i'm initiating that you know these things uh, event and all and then here i am subscribing that keyboard subject okay here as i mentioned so keyboard subject and here subscribing so once you you know press the left or arrow right arrow so here it will you know capture and then that move method uh, will be executed and here is the logic i have written and let's you know, based on that you know uh, key i mean event name uh our action name i am in you know, a changing the index okay after that here i am checking that uh, if it is in an index greater than zero or less than the inputs length then i am in you know, a focusing that input to array of index dot element dot focus so this input to array is nothing but this one okay so this inputs i am converting to an array so this query list okay and uh, here other thing yes on uh, after focusing the element if you press enter then i'm doing the next job that is called handle product click actually uh, yeah this is basically uh what is called generic method so if you click this method also attached you know to the click event here if you click on the product uh, or after you know focusing the element if you press enter that time also same job will be done by this method okay so basically it is you know logging the product okay so this is uh, the things actually just wanted to share with you so yeah uh, just you know, what you need to do you need to create this global directive so here i uh, you know created this directive and kept inside this directives folder and also i kept that in keyboard service you can also you know copy and paste this code uh, in your you know root uh, file or wherever you want uh, you know to keep the files you can do because this service is a singleton service no need to you know provide to any component or module level uh, i mean it will work as it is uh, if you keep inside uh, the root folder or any subfolder okay and then uh, yeah this is the directive i have created and obviously this directive has to be registered inside any of the module wherever you want to you know use this directive okay here in this scenario our directive has uh, you know registered inside this shared module this arrow element directive and uh, yes go to that file yes and always keep in mind that you know where actually you want uh, i mean uh, you will place this directive selector so where you you know have written that flex item let's say here in the flex item here if i go to the css css file here in a flex item the some basic you know styles has written and then that uh, hover and focus okay so on hover uh, also i mean this uh, styles will be changing and uh, all and also during focus also you know this will be changed 
okay this uh, directive selector will be placed where you are keeping your you know class name okay that you know for styling there only you can keep so that's all uh, for the day and uh, you just you know try from your end and if you have any doubt please let me know i will help you definitely and yes uh, your comments will be much more valuable for me and uh, next uh, thing actually i'm thinking to show you basically how to you know create the library with uh, you know practical uh, approach and the way we you know write in our you know organization for the live project or you can say for product so if you uh, uh, working on a product not uh, you know giving the service if you are working on a, um, uh, or you are building a product uh, that uh, could be you know reusable by uh, you know multiple clients so for that scenario how do you structure the project and what would be the best way how to you know reutilize the components what would be the you know uh, possibilities to reuse the components so those things will be discussed in my next you know session but maybe it will take some time to publish the things because so many you know things will be involved in that uh, session okay so yeah please be stay tuned and uh, have a nice day and thank you for your uh, attention bye bye